Alrighty guys, brand new Egyptian God cards are indeed here. If you're excited about it, drop a like on this video. But let's go ahead and check them out. So these are coming out in the 2022 Tin of the Pharaoh Gods. When are these coming out? Well, at least for the release date, set up to September 16th and September 15th, depending on maybe where you're living. But September 15th is like the official date here. But let's go see if these cards are any good or if they're just going to be basically uh, extra cards that you're just going to be collecting, so to speak. Because, you know, people love Egyptian gods. So let's check out the first card this is the revived sky god so i think this is for cypher so this is a normal trap card that says the activation of this card or its effects cannot be negated nor can its effects be negated okay so you get to special summon one cypher the sky dragon from your graveyard then each player draws until they have six cards in their hand what that is insane you can banish this card from your graveyard to place one monster reborn from your deck or graveyard on top of your deck then if a divine beast monster is in your graveyard draw one card you can use you can only use the effect of the revived sky god once per turn okay so starting right off this card is actually pretty insane the fact that you're able to have both players draw until they have six so what this theoretically allows you to do let's say you go first you're able to basically use all of your cards as long as you just somehow set all the rest of your cards whatever the case may be is foolish make something that can dump uh, Cypher into the graveyard. This could be pretty awesome. And then you get to make it so your opponent would then, you just activate it immediately, right? So as soon as your opponent's turn starts, they have six cards, you just activate it, and then you have six cards, and then they also have six cards, but they don't get that additional draw because they went second, right? Because they just start out with six in their hand. So I think that like, if you go first, this is pretty cool, but like, after that, I don't know. That's a very risky thing to do to let both players draw until they have six. Now, obviously, Cypher, I will argue Cypher is one of the stronger god cards, definitely. I think uh, Oblis at one point did see some competitive play in like variants of frog and monarch builds. I think people were playing uh, just like the OG Obelisk uh, card. But uh, for the most part, I mean, being able to not be targeted was like the good effect. But like Cypher just deletes everything for the most part that is under a certain amount of stats. And I think this is pretty cool. Is it going to be shifting up the game mm, i don't know because it has to be from the graveyard if it was from your hand deck or graveyard then this would be more powerful but because they would just interrupt your play before you even got to this part uh, i don't know it could be a little bit rough but i mean it can't be negated so at least that's something good for it next up that we have the breaking ruin god so this is a uh quick play spell card that says the activation of this card or its effects cannot be negated nor can its effects be negated so you special one obelisk tormentor from your hand or graveyard and if you do it is unaffected by the opponent's card effects only this turn if you tribute two or more monsters you control at the same time uh, to activate your card or effect while you control Obelisk the Tormentor, you can banish this card from your graveyard to banish all monsters in your opponent's graveyard. And if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each. You can only use each effect of uh, the Breaking Ruin God once per turn. Okay, so basically Obelisk's effect over there, um, which is like, I think it's like Tribute to Monsters. I have to double check on the effect because I want to get it wrong here. Because this effect with Obelisk, a lot of people really don't use it. Obelisk was just basically used because it cannot be targeted, but uh, its effect is, what is it? Uh, if it's card with special summon sent to the graveyard, okay. Uh, you contribute two monsters to destroy all monster opponent controls, and it can't declare an attack the turn it's activated. So basically, I mean, it's 500 damage per, so if your opponent has a lot of monsters in the graveyard, um, there may be some sort of ways, uh, what is it, the Fiend Comedian, I think it is, um, there could be some really cool plays to, like, basically FTK your opponent with this card, um, if you just keep on slamming up more monsters into, like, both players' graveyards and then you just burn all of them, this could be cool, I think for content creators this will definitely be fun, but is it gonna be competitive? Oh, it's gonna be rough to actually try to pull that off, because not only do you have to get up list, and then tribute multiple monsters, um, and it doesn't have to be via Obelisk's effect, though. That's the interesting. There could be other plays with it. Let me know, guys, down below if there's any other ways to get your opponents to send a lot of cards. I think it was, like, what, Fiend Comedian might have been a card. Uh, but I'm thinking, like, not Needlebug Nest, because that's, I believe, your cards. But there's probably cards where it sends, like, from the top of both players' cards. I think Needle Worm might be it. Like, basically, mill decks with Obelisk may be able to pull off some sort of win condition. I mean, 500 damage is pretty decent, so... And then they had 16 monsters. Uh, definitely possible. All right. So next up we have the, I think this is going to be raw support. So this is the true sun god, which is a continuous spell card. This was, was quick play. Oh, that could be interesting with a quick play. Your opponent just loses everything. I don't know. I, I'm looking at cyphers. Like the draw six is just like, there's very few Yu-Gi-Oh cards that let you have the draw six, right? So this is the true sun god. So 
It's a continuous spell card that says, when this card is activated, you get to add one, the Winged Dragon of Raw, or one card that mentions it from your uh, deck to your hand, except for the True Sun God. Monsters except their Winged Dragon of Raw cannot attack the turn they are special summon. Okay, not too bad. If it said that they couldn't activate their effects, too, that's the key word we need here. But <coughs> once per turn, during your main phase, you can send this card from the field or one Winged Dragon of uh, Raw Immortal Phoenix from your deck to the graveyard. Then send one the Winged Dragon of Rom from your monster zone to the graveyard. You can only activate one the True Sun God per turn. Okay, so if I remember correctly, this card actually could see some play um, if we went right over to it. And if we go to this, it's specifically listed, right? Okay, so like it's a searcher for Ring Dragon Ross Sphere Mode, so that could be kind of cool because that card has seen some play even in competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, people like to you know side deck it going second and just tribute all of the, your opponent's stuff. Could be kind of good in the same sense that like Lava Golem would just let you get rid of maybe your opponent's stuff. I think some of this God card stuff, like let me know guys what you think of it. Do you guys think it's anywhere near going to be meta? I really don't think so. Um, the only card that I think is really cool, like Breaking Real God, yeah, you could pull off maybe some cool like FDKs for content in terms of content integration but i really feel like the revive sky god i mean again drawing six cards i might just try to throw this in some random decks but the problem is is that it doesn't summon it from the deck if it summoned it from the deck this card would be so good if it was hand deck or graveyard that's what we need obviously from the hand you can just like discard it was via some effect but like this is the the part that like just makes it a little bit more difficult but yeah both players draw till they have six cards that is quite crazy and then you get to go for like a uh, was a monster reborn that's just a, a another bonus on top of it plus it's got some cool artwork what is that silent magician but anyways let me know guys what you think of the new brand new uh egyptian god card support it's pretty cool there's also some more new cards that i will go over in a later video but i just want to keep this one for egyptian gods but if you guys want to see more of the new cards coming out in the tens i'll be dropping a video very very soon on that but anyways if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like on it if you're new here and do you want to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards and more new Yu-Gi-Oh news subscribe to the bell and i'll see you in the next video and i'm out peace